we will start because we can have more time for discussion later. The context is uh, Irvin is releasing his book on the 5th. So we thought we have a small informal meeting with uh, journalists and others today. And we are very happy to see uh, Mr. Menon, who was in, in the US for a long time in journalism, first time we are meeting. And uh, Neeraj, who ha is into SMS journalism, Devika, of course, uh, who has been a veteran with all of us. And Minin, former director from Nathan Ramesh Bab, and uh, Mr. Dick Cruz, who is a former, uh, who player. Is a former hockey, hockey player under, under Erwin. Yeah. So he made it very clear that Erwin was his captain. <laughs> And Pantaleo, who will be introduced oh to yeah, the book Pantaleo Fernandez. I met him before. Yeah, yeah. Goa yeah. today, I think. Hmm? No, no, we met him in the theatre 2018. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. So the format is very informal. Uh, we'll get uh, half an hour, 40 minutes, whatever, to talk about uh, your Half thing. an hour? Uh, we won't be able to talk. We are going to interrupt you with a lot of questions. What and are they and to get you started, the first question, I want to know what are the uh, stories you left out of your book? No, to the best of my knowledge, I not left anything out. No, please, please. I'm just no, no, really, you. really, I, the purpose of writing this book is to say what I want to say, you know. Maybe and you want to, to tell us a little about the book because we can't, it's just out and not everyone may have uh, seen it already. Sorry? <coughs> Sorry? <coughs> yeah, that's a good <coughs> idea. Maybe we, you read a small excerpt. Well, you read, I'm bad at reading. Hurry, don't worry, it's your book. No, no, you read. I get it. Uh, I, I can write a little, but I can't read. You're looking different, I didn't recognize you. Yeah. Nice yeah, just out, formally released, being released on the 5th, <coughs> published by Broadway. Devika, it is of pundits and showeries. Still where? Ah. Read more, less of pundits and more of showeries. <laughs> but it was a good fellow, no? Showery was a wrong kid. Life in Express was generally smooth sailing during my 24-year innings with them, though there was always something happening, something to look forward to, at least on the office front, like the strikes every four to five years, which not only provided an opportunity to earn on the side, but also gave one pause to rethink, realign, and make correction courses in our then fledgling careers. The Indian Express being what it is and being published from eight or nine different centers, there were many who'd had their eye on it. Sanjay Gandhi's efforts were futile, but a magazine editor named R.V. Pandit managed to cast his hat in the ring. Pandit was then editing imprint and we went through a rather stormy month or two as the handsome, light-eyed East Indian camped in the editorial department on night duty along with former Times of India editor N.J. Nanporia as his man Friday. It was during this period <coughs> that apart from raising a number of issues in the editorial department that Pandit accused me of being drunk on duty but had to end up eating humble pie because our general manager M. N. Dugar refused to uphold the charge. 
actually another colleague was under the influence of liquor but it was a real godsend for me as i never encouraged dugar when he asked me to take him to press shows i did not want to mix business with pleasure and thought it best to be strictly professional poor nanporia had to do pandit's dirty work go through sub copy and other menial tasks but then that is at times the plight of former editors in not so good times but he was a decent gentleman and one respected him for the detachment with which he functioned those were indeed stormy times and it was more fun to go on night duty because of the entertainment value but as time rolled by pandit grew to like me and would often ring me up for race results he was a great punter i also made a recommendation to him for the editorship of one of his magazines and he did comply thus after the huffing and puffing things went off pretty amicably and it surely spoke for his um, maturity but he was basically a good human being and like most nouveau riche was probably not able to handle success and money but he surely wasn't nasty or malicious or revengeful arun shori was of course of course was a was a different kettle of fish even though he had established a reputation as the indian counterpart of the watergate reporters bob woodward whom i met in, at cannes in 1989 and carl bernstein but shori proved to be a sanctimonious individual using journalism to get a foot into the political door that he was a true rashtriya swayamsevak sangait i do not hold against him for he has a right to belong to any ideological group he believes in it is perfectly legitimate but he was stubborn to the core and often did not give the other side of the story when but when he was with us that is the bombay edition he was pretty close to me and always liaises with me i clearly remember the night he put to bed the monumental expose antule as commerce or words to that effect it began on page 1 as a bottom spread or anchor as they call it these days and the continuation took almost a full page in size here also it was the express team of reporters who collected most of the data for which he took the credit the production was on hot metal in those 1980s day and we worked together for all of 3 hours from 9 pm to midnight with his usual pancha for detail cross heading in the correct places and all that but it was fun working with a genius for that he undoubtedly was and his grasping power was sheer magic lightning quick even with technical terms he was not accustomed to he also had the meek butter won't melt in the mouth expression which could in the blink of an eye erupt into traumas shades of all rng both geniuses Devika also shared uh, days in the Indian Express before she two or three years. Came here. Before she came here to train all the colleagues. But it's her talent. I don't. Uh, I don't try to say that. That you influence. That she's my. Uh, I was her mentor or anything. So in But spite of me being there, she is so good. <laughs> You you want to say a little on what uh, pushed you into writing the book? Uh, what you know, I've been so long writing what you, what they call now pulp fiction, I think. You know, yes, uh, they uh, it lasts for a day and then it's gone. So I said, uh, more than making me a hero, I I try to make journalism a hero, and journalism of the type we had it in our day, which was you know. no paid news no promos no no nothing of the sort take up the causes of the downtrodden and expose racket in fact the, i kept this beard because i was threatened by uh, by a traffic police chap who my wrote against uh, uh, some towing racket and out of 40 rupees they collected 20 rupees would go to him or something so he was transferred and he left word with a friend of mine that tell this fellow to be careful be I'll finish him so i was quite frightened and i said what will i do those days i never had security people and all that so i said the best i could do is keep beard and then i got so fond of this beard that i don't want to take it off here yeah. <laughs>
in the cold weather it's, it's so cozy and, and since I'm single, no? So I mean it was a substitute. Yeah. <laughs> and in the warm weather? Warm weather put water on it. That's what the police could not recognize it. That I don't know. That was a <laughs> that a natural that all those who threaten, no, they are cowards, bullies. But Express had a different tradition in that sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even now, Express yeah, is yeah, a yeah. good paper. Yeah. yeah. And that Sunday, yeah. Sunday edition, you can't finish it on that very day. You can take even two, three days after you don't finish the paper. I completed 24 and a half years. I vowed not to complete 25. No, okay. Then I thought after 25 you become dead wood. So, but 24 and a half doesn't make a difference. Nah, nah, they would have given me a, a clock or something. You could have said I will live quarter century in the express. Nah, nah, nah. I deliberately left. And you know, I wanted 10 good years of life from 50 to 60. So, uh, now I have 25. They've, they've misplaced my papers <laughs> upstairs. So I'm still going strong. I tell my mother, you're cheating on the Lord. You're allowed only 70 years. No? She's how old? No, she was about 80. We never knew her age. And she had a good excuse. She told us that if I tell my age, I'll die. <laughs> she died. When, when she died, I never knew. I was news editor at that time. She said, how old is your mother? How can I say? I don't know. <laughs> So I said 87 or 88 or something, I said. So that, anyway, these are the best years in my life. Another thing is, I know between 50 and 58, you are earning twice the salary as the beginners. So naturally, management will not want to keep you until you're, unless you're good or indispensable. So now that before they do that to me, let me, because I also had two strings to my bow. One is editing as well as writing. And I preferred writing, so I concentrated on writing. Very simple. Maybe that's why I've written a book. If I was still in Express, I wouldn't do it. But this feeling that uh, talent has moved out from the desk to the field in recent years, is it, is it here? No, it depends on the individual. No, because earlier, you know, even that was Devika's policy, the youngsters were kept on the desk to learn the writing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they made sure that some of the good guys also stayed on the desk. Mm -hmm. But in the 90s, what we saw no, was that uh, the openings were more in the field, the challenges were more, bylines started proliferating. It's very easy. You yeah. know, very easy, unlike before. So yeah, within yeah. three months, you could, you know, yeah, now, get known. So now, general yeah. type their byline before the article, which is good enough. Yeah, why not? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's left, it left for the editor to cancel it. He can type no, it. No, no, that's, that's the thing here. I've seen it, that uh, if you give a byline, um, you're you are encouraged to do good stories. Yeah. If you don't give a byline, they produce rubbish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. will just be hacked. Yeah, know, yeah. Take from here, there, and all yeah. that. It's a double-edged sword. The byline is also people can hold you accountable. They say, OK, yeah. you're writing all crap, so, okay. so we know what you're writing. Yeah. To you. Correct. They also did not Correct. Correct. They asked me, do you want to buy that? I said, yeah. Worked hard on the story. But I was slapped with a huge defamation suit. Then what happened? The tail cover? The tail cover. What happened in the end? People keep asking on a deck and aerial group. Five crores. But they dropped it? They dropped their file to drop it because they can't win it, obviously. There is a Deccan Herald alumni group they keep on asking about that. Yeah. John Thomas asks. Yeah. Yeah. And now, now they. Are very difficult no, but the harassment value is huge, harassment you know. Harassment value. Like Rajanara and he took to Panchkini, uh, you know, four five hill stations, he was going up and down the hill. So. For what? You know, this. Uh, there was this guy called Narin Dosa. He called him a smuggler, which was, okay, close to the truth or whatever. How do you prove it? He filed defamation case in Maharashtra. Sanatan Sastra does it. They file cases all over Maharashtra. Uh, these uh, government papers, we all yeah. have cases. Right. They have to go running around there and there. It's an arm. No, no, my question. Yeah, they don't have to be My question was uh, well, in the past, the desk was very strong. Do you still feel they are strong now? Or has the strength weakened? 
Uh, I don't know now because now I'm not so. Uh, uh, I, I'm not used to uh, working, uh, going to the office and seeing things. But I know even my time there are some very good desk people, and a good editor is uh, is uh, invaluable. No, I don't think desk people at all. In fact, all journalists opt to go to the desk. They find it easier to function. Someone of your generation, what do you feel? The desk is stronger or weaker? I, I for one, definitely miss the kind of guidance we got in our younger days from the desk, where the best of people, some of them, were kept on the desk. You are talking about the Boa journalism. Both. Boa and even even in places like Bangalore and all, no? They used to have what they call the IS kid, all these uh, <coughs> graduates and all, on the editorial pages, not on the Mukhusul pages, where you had terrible guys. Yeah, yeah. All the, you, you had the agents filing copies. I still know that uh, reporters, they increase their uh, PR and uh, content. Therefore, most of the journalists <coughs> want to go on full uh, duty. Now? Yeah, now. Now the stakes are very high. And then very few people, uh, they put on the desk, so that they can only really come on the right. Reporters, they are always busy, always for hours. Yeah, it's no, no, hard but, work. Uh, with reporters, too, I, may, I want like, would like to say this, that you may keep a contact, but you don't be beholden to him. All the scams that are coming out are showing, no, Abul? Yeah, you, you there have... Is, you there have are conflict of interest situations increasingly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he should be able to take criticism, too. Even some reporters, they have their own uh, political person who will build them all news. I know, I know. A lot of reporters were there attached to the phone here. Investigative. Investigative. So need there's a limit on that because yeah. people are going to plant also, no? So for our reporters in Goa, the only story they get is from the ministers. The easiest way to get a story go to a minister. His whatever statement is a gospel. And they report, take it verbatim. It's the front page story. Uh, if you go to the ground yeah. and do a real good story, he will not get a front page uh, for a story. That is also a problem. Our editors they have to be the mindset yeah. has to be changed. Exactly. They give more importance to minister statement. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the abuse statement may be. But that's, 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 that's one, one argument wrong. I had. Uh, which, uh, I wrote something for Nikko about editors not coming from the reporting oh, uh, thing. Exactly. Up. They don't know anything yeah, about yeah. actually field work yeah, yeah, going yeah. out, getting a story, how mm. difficult it is. They now gone up through that yeah. grind. They only think picking up phone will give you a story. But a lot of them have become agents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Reporters should uh, edit and editor should write. Then you know the difficulty of what the other field entails. Otherwise, you think, no, what are these guys? No, I don't think reporters need to edit. You know, a really good reporter is something. But editors need to report. No, editors have to edit. Get the story, have contact, with that. There are really right people who can do that. Reporter has to basically get the story. Yeah. No, no, I'm just saying they become impartial. Like most important no. thing is they have to be independent. No, my point is if a desk person knows what trouble it takes to write, he or she will be more sensitive towards someone else's copy. Just that. Correct. Now see, Erwal, since he's built up such a reputation as a film critic, okay, I'm sure he will treat someone's writing much more, more with more respect than say someone who doesn't know. Anyway, that that. Yeah. Anyway, another thing I want to say is uh, actually I was taken for as a reporter. So one of the senior journalists there, one Mohan Rao, who was, was here for some time, yeah. Government at time. Yeah, he was uh, there in my boss's cabin, and he told him first put him on the desk, then he'll know the perspective. <laughs> I went on the desk and never went to a reporting, but I started doing okay. special okay. stories, which means I was not doing the Routine. fiddling things, you know, only doing some uh, interviews. Yeah, interviews and, and uh, interviews. good film articles. Reviews. Yeah, yeah. Film reviews. Uh, I was not so fond of films. I became a critic by default. So, in the film review market for Western films, who were you, who was your nearest competition? Were there any dedicated persons or Ka Khalid Khalid Muhammad? Khalid. But Khalid Muhammad uh, uh, was an improvement. Huh? He became a filmmaker too. 
but he would keep on panning the films when he made films yeah, he also yeah, were yeah, not yeah, successful yeah, no yeah, yeah. he is not writing now no 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 he's making films but he's done well yeah he's done well but he's much but, later but he also had movie. no no we are together since, we are together since. we were to do peter used to know story and i beat him to that you know and he got pulled up or some such thing but a uh, good chap alex ah and he uh, he was a bit of a networker too if i may say so don't write about this please uh, because um, he knew that uh, some uh, who was a management chap in time time pradeep goha yeah 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 you are quite close to him yeah he is close to him that's what i heard yeah but all in all he, he did a good job so you wrote from memory or did you have files do you have all the uh, i have some 40 files of your writing 40 yeah. but not your desk not your desk work not the no, 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 in fact i'm just thinking uh, if i write another book it would be some of my good pieces uh, you know there must be at least about 20 good pieces out of 30 40 files or something if if it I needs see. to be published but i won't go through it uh, no way which would you rate as your three best pieces which you look back on film based ones or interviews no no general general uh, the funnest oil racket i think what of them funnest oil yeah I I went to a party and someone told me that you know oil is missing and such such things from the from the dock to on the pipeline and all that. So just on that I followed that tip and went to a lot of people and okay. and got my story. It was a page one story. And uh, yeah, then the CBI all these people came to meet me. Then someone warned me, saying don't be too close to the CBI fellows. It's dangerous. so i took the warning i said no i don't have anything or something and one of the interviews with peter used to know i think he came at i waited for him from 9 in the night to 12 he came at 12:30 9 o'clock and then he was with his indian uh, host you know in our protective there he said no no he has to sleep he has to do stay and all that i said no uh, may i have a word with him and i gave him some crap that uh, next day i am on duty and all that thing so i can't meet you tomorrow so can you give me just 5 minutes that's the way you do it no just 5 minutes and 5 become 10 and 20 and 30 and you don't want to end it yeah not him but uh, yeah many other there was cecily tyson to who agreed to do a story from delhi for span magazine and after she got into a tizzy and didn't want to i insisted that she do it and i got had my way because then by then i was what a season chap and wouldn't take any crap from anyone is <laughs> so that so there are two avenues the feature writer the reviewer and the news desk person yeah. in what way was the indian express different from the times at the peak of, of your days there ah, we were a paper to read here yeah. When I uh, when I got my job, I went straight to the news editor and told him such and such a thing. He said, "He said, but yeah, you start working." He said straight away. And you know, I have one and a half year trying for a job, and never got. I said, "The person who tells me to start working must be mad." <laughs> I told him that after. Yeah. yeah. I see. And I said, "No, I have to return." <laughs> yeah, and all that is not needed here. and it was a very unpredictable paper you know it, it some days it was down but some days when it was up it was yeah, really up really yeah. but it's like how how even till today, even till today. <laughs> how is that what, what does that what do you come that the tradition 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 ownership they don't go for you know not small thing they're not bothered about that yet ownership is in now 
the people who are you know pro establishment their preparation goes up yeah. this is a tragedy sorry sorry see yeah, after yeah, doing yeah, so yeah. many stories the preparation should have gone up no people are ready they function in another way they're not No, in circulation, see circulation and respect in the market are two different yeah, things. Yeah, they are two different. I'm saying finally, who gets quoted? Who gets quoted when there's That's a breaking scandal? Yeah, say S R or whoever it is. No, what I'm saying is why people not support such no. kind of papers. No, they are two separate things. They are two separate things. People should support such papers. No? But you mean to say circulation is a measure of support? I'm debating that. It's a measure of marketing. No. Our circulation went the highest uh, during after the emergency. Yeah. yeah. When the results uh, when. Uh, 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 election was declared. Mr. Gandhi, she had no feedback, yeah. so she had all the good, goody, goody news, and she misjudged it. And she went for the elections, and her circulation went up to one lakh eighty-seven thousand. Would you see that as opposition paper in that sense? Yeah, I think Throughout. so. Throughout. Yeah. Oh, expensive. One time it was government paper. No, no way. Small time, small time. Never, never. He makes a point about Sanjay Gandhi and others trying uh, to. Never and. Uh, no, there uh, was a period when we were. Uh, no way, no way. Well, before I joined me. When the Janata was in power. Maybe when the Janata was in power. No, no, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. See, there are some newspaper barons who are getting to challenge the government in that sense. In Goa, if you look at it, the Chogle. Was setting the agenda for the government, whereas the other newspapers—if correct me if I'm wrong—the other newspapers were more like you know in terms of keeping up with the government, and whichever party was in power, they would support them. You know best. Chogles yeah, would so challenge the government, had fights with even Bandotkar, regardless of who was in power. Yeah. 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 So they wanted to always be the leader. Correct. They were. Uh, I say. Correct. You follow. You follow. You follow. I'm the boss. You follow. Yeah. No, but then they had the uh, uh, complete this room. They were totally pro NGO. But then they fought with Bandhu Kar Devi. Kai advanced. They had an ideology. They what? They had an ideology. Correct. Yeah. But they fought with Bandhu Kar. Isn't it true? No, Gadkari, I think. Just that one editor. Correct. Hmm. They had an ideology, Marathi and Marijal. That was. But they were willing to challenge Devi. What I'm saying. They are saying we are the boss. They were willing to challenge Devi. What I'm saying. They are saying we are the boss. You listen to us. You may no, be the elected it government. Then, Johnny, if it suited their idea, correct? Which was totally pro Maharashtra, pro pro Marathi. Which is also pro industry. Pro major. Pro, pro industry. Yeah, I think it's more business deals. Yeah, <coughs> they are having any work. Uh, they will yeah. write a serious, uh, serious editorial. Editorial. Yeah. And yeah. sort it out. The next day they get <laughs> it. That is also business. Another thing uh, about the management. I've written about this. Uh, RNG. RNG was a. Out of strength, man. He called me one Sunday. Uh, Sunday normally we don't go to office. I got a call saying you're wanted in the penthouse. Penthouse. Penthouse is very sexy and all now, but then I was shivering. Then he told me last night. Then he, he with with him was Guru Murthy, his advisor. So he sat down and told me he had all the copy of the la the previous night. The chief sub on duty must have. Miss some items, so he said, "Who was on duty?" I said, "So and so on." But by what happened? No, the stories are missed. He's saying, "This." He pointed two, three cases. He said, "I'll sack anybody." When he said, "Sack anybody," I had bloody shit scared. And then Guru Mathi saying, "Sir, sir, take it easy. Don't get excited. I thought if he gets a stroke, I won't get my provident fund too." <laughs> But. I'd rather be fired by him than praised by that Vivek going there now. These buggers are frauds. They they just took the got the get the inherited this Indian Express. A desk job is very thankless in a sense that you do 99 right things, no one will appreciate it. Yeah, one you wrong, do one wrong thing, thing here, and you're hung for it. Yeah. In that sense, yeah. if it's going smooth, no one says no. I mean, you're yeah, especially the news that they're on the firing line. Yeah, so I couldn't say they were chief sub who did it. Oh, even once uh, my own boss let me down. Uh, he told me to take a file picture, and then when it came up and George Fernandez, uh, some some uh, some pimp from Dokshata went and uh, gave uh, told that you know we took a file picture, and then my news editor denied point blank. Of the crowd or something like. Yeah, yeah, of the band. Okay. File picture, which is not right, Correct. and I told the news editor I will chief something. They don't do that. It's not right. But when push came to shove, we point blank denied.
So that's how you come to know, you know. I mean, I, I may make a statement, I don't know how true it is. This South Indians, they protect their jobs like anything. Their blood is, is sell their mothers to their dad. I think maybe I you had feel a bad experience. That may, maybe you feel strongly about South Indians because that was a time where there were a lot of uh, South Indians in the in the media as such. No, no. I, actually, it's, uh, Indian Express is South Indian Express because there's no place for South. They put Indian Express. <laughs> there's no place for South Indian Express, so they cut out South. Yeah, it's true. No, <laughs> but it was Sunday Standard first. No, I mean. Uh, what yeah, was it? because it was brought from by uh, from. Horniman, yeah. Guy Horniman. Yeah. It was Sunday Standard, Indian Standard it was. Mm -hmm. Then it changed to Indian Express. I used to read Indian Express when I was in school too because of the sports page. Like the film reviews you were writing. Uh, so going into the film or <coughs> seeing the film or how? Uh, Without seeing the film you are going to write a review? Yeah. I learned it on the line and uh. then what? Yeah. <laughs> I think they have special film. review shows for uh, yeah, yeah, reviews yeah, okay. yeah. on which day on a certain day or something. After all, so yeah, seeing, seeing these reviews, you were right. No, no, no seeing the film. Film, film, film. film, they specially have a review in screening in a theatre. And Sunil was the guy who shot a lot of those photographs which went uh, with the publicity for the film. Yeah. When I did the publicity, for my first picture was the work, We Are Two Press. Oh, I see. And last picture was the Shule. Oh my God! Surely you did. Yeah. So for a long time he was. Photo yeah. I used to make. Oh, I see. Very good. The, which used to go through thousands of uh, oh. events in the cinema theatre. I know he is uh, Navin Times, no? Yeah. 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 Part so of the. Uh, why is it that uh, the film reviews get it so wrong? At least as far as the Hindi movies go. I mean. Uh, Same reason why book reviewers get it so wrong. Hey, oh, yeah. They pan the uh, movie and those ones uh, they shoot up at the box office. The box office is no indication. The critic may not like it, but it still may do well. They are two different. But sometimes they are, they are given packets too, you know, <laughs> with, with, the, with the invitations. And I knew we had a uh, Hindi film reviewer who PR people would come and insist on the headlines yeah, of the review. That's, that's what I wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. Tell you. It, it, happens, make, it, it happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah. Wherever there is. Demand, supply and demand, yeah. But it's a question of being subjective also, isn't it? Our reviews are all subjective, you know. Some papers, some, some whatever and they want to Anything, how, how objective can you be? Man? Some subjectivity will creep in. At that time, your screen was also very uh, yeah, yeah, powerful. Yeah. Powerful? You did, you did work for them? Hmm? You did work for no, screen? Photography. Oh, yeah, very good. Yeah. Why didn't you review Bollywood? Nein. No, why, why? No, I, when I was on censor board, I used to see uh, Hindi films too. But I said, no, yeah, I'm more familiar with this and the language yeah, and familiar. all that. And I know that, by and large, <laughs> commercial cinema is crap, yeah. <laughs> so censor board, tell us a little of your days there. No, no, I don't Which yours were there, censor the board? I, uh, I think Rishida, Rishikesh Mokaji. Uh, I was only on the center board so that I could pass as much as you could, you could yeah. because I don't believe in sex being harmful. If you're an adult and all that and you see a breast and all that, it's not going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> More harmful is the violence which can be controlled. You think we have a good system of censorship or plastic? No, I think now we are quite bad here. Yeah. I think now, now they are. The, the, the fellow who did publicity for Modi is made chairman of the centre board. No. So, what is the way out? Forget about individual. I'm saying, what is the way out in terms of what what are the get controls good, that Get the good placed? people, yeah. Get honest. But is the framework okay? The framework depends on whom you get first. Now, in a committee, if you have seven good people and three bad people, the seven three good people can deal with those three. You know, like when I was chairman of uh, MIF, we had two, three dubious chaps, but we we were able to deal with them. Maharashtra but if you have seven seven bad chaps, then you're gone, yeah. No, my question was, India deals with things in a certain way. The West deals with in another yeah. way. Which model do you think would work? Uh, in between, everything golden mean. Aristotle's golden mean. Because the West is uh, West, West, but... Uh, India should be uh, come out of these dark ages. Yeah. 
pornography in films i mean erotica in films what's your view on that possible maybe uh, separate classification yeah you uh, uh, a adult make it a not even you a okay what happened there are How different views on it sorry how do you find a good film what makes a good film and what is bad good one good question <laughs> one who will, who will be neither too liberal nor too strict so again what is the criteria that you use is it purely a matter of uh, sex or is it violence is it politics no i would think violence is more 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 objectionable because vi- violence you tend to imitate sex is more appeasing in the in our history after this or this process of sex did that violence go ah that maybe i don't know it could be but that i think is wrong sorry what what i think you should be more wary about not passing violence see this is all a ideological stand you know for it some is, societies it differs differ from individual yeah individual and society to society then what do you take because we are going through a period of flux what is acceptable to a may not be acceptable to b in scandinavia like you know erotica is not a issue for yeah, years yeah. they've been dealing with it whereas even west some western societies correct me if i'm wrong have have had hang up till 30 40 years back for us you know while we make fun of uh, charlie hebdo and and you know those kind of things i think working out some arrangement among different points of view and different religious groups is is probably important in a country like yeah, india yeah yeah i would think so so how do we whose paradigm do we accept no no but you take a, a person who has a who was a proven record man make him chairman of sensible and tell him to pick hand pick the people so if and don't get political that's not possible politically you will always get some people in only political person they are appointing <laughs> yeah i mean if this fellow could uh, do his publicity yeah. how can he be chairman of sensible yeah modi talks so much and it is a bloody gaping hole there yeah. what next both of you no in terms of writing that's right is that enough there never enough ask any question which would have been your best years spent in was it in the film starter the middle one no i think the emergency and the follow up of the emergency were more exciting yeah yeah we had a center posted and it to delay the edition <laughs> and pass it only in the morning at 7 o'clock and we to try to influence him to pass items and all that one chap we was a little raw amenable. yeah amenable <laughs> but then when they realized that they got a tough chap who you know who turned the words if you said we savaskar was a homosexual mm. they cut off homosexual <laughs> <laughs> so you listen to that particular yeah. word <laughs> Hey, what bloody model sense is about what? Yeah. That's what bureaucrats do. Yeah. They are also censoring through fear, no? Because uh, they have to face the powers that be the next. Yeah, they will be sacked. They will be sacked. Like, why can't you tell me? I'll sack anybody who doesn't. So only one visit. Any of your sacked. colleagues got arrested during that? Uh, were you in fear of being arrested by the guards? No, no. I wanted I to go on night duty and uh and the blackouts and all that. I had to go by bus and anyone could have waited for me but uh, it doesn't happen. Desk is a bit more of a faceless yeah. job in the sense that it's collective responsibility. Unsung unsung heroes. Unsung heroes. Hero, so Only if someone points a finger you're in trouble. Yeah. In particular time. Yeah. I hope uh, uh I've uh, provided at least two grains of wheat and bushels of chaff mr baskar if you just tell us two minutes of your work um i spent uh, 40 years in new york uh, most of the time uh, working for the united nations um about half the time i was an independent journalist 
putting out my own newspaper. Which one? After I quit the yeah, US, yeah, yeah. I started a, a newspaper uh, called the Undiplomatic Times. It was a pun. UN Diplomatic Times. But it was Undiplomatic Times to, to the US. So I spent 20 years doing that, 20 years working as a staff member for the UN, for which I was I was editor in chief of their monthly magazine and various other speech writing and all kinds of jobs. So that's how I spent my life. Wow. And I've been in Goa since uh, 2012. Oh, very good, yeah. A lot yeah. of media people find Goa attractive in that sense. So you, ju you should uh, help the Goan journal ju uh, the newspapers in Goa, yes. Um, Offer your services. Are they, are they in the mood to accept? I'm not very sure. I don't know. Try it. Try I it. Have, I haven't. Uh, I, I, I spend my time blogging. This is a full time job. I, I, still, keep, I still cover the UN. Oh, but you oh. can do it now through the internet. Okay, okay. So I have a kind of international. Okay, so you're busy with that. How old are you? 59. A lot of uh, journalists from Goa who have moved back tried to help the papers. Uh, Daigo Silvera was one of them. I think you had some training programs for yourself, Victor Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Victor yeah. Angel has been, but uh, the papers don't seem to be too much in a mood to accept uh, skills coming back. Yeah, know? yeah. The papers are, uh, I mean, not even Herald and all that. Uh, the proprietor knows sweet dash all about things. But with or without them, uh, like the paper on. is pretty good. Uh, sir, uh, you said you are on Goa Book Club. There was a little bit of uh, a controversy on the issue as to why Goan papers don't hire Goan editors, Goan journalists as editors, yeah, yeah. by and large. Do you have a view on this? Yeah, I think when I, when I was called in 81, to become editor of Herald. 83. 81 or 83. 83. I came in and one day I ran back. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because these people were willing to spend, spend lakhs on machinery, but uh, very piddle, piddling amount yeah. on stuff. Yeah. I said, no, I can't do it. And besides that, I don't think I'm, I'm the stuff for ed of editors. Yeah. I can't compromise. I can't balance things. I can't. I, I have to say what I want to say. If I became an editor, I would have been a bad editor. The same reason why I think uh, Goans become better governors in Punjab rather than in Goa <laughs> <laughs> or uh, West Bengal. No, I think the non-Goans would uh, be more amenable to taking the dictation. That's true anywhere. No? If you are rooted, it becomes yeah. a bit more of a challenge. Yeah, yeah. Just we have gone to introduce a book which is being done by Pantaneo and uh, Pantaneo Fernandez is in the process of doing his third third book, fifth book, sorry. And he'll tell you a bit about it. This I think uh, people have heard, heard of this is a book on traditional occupations of Goa, which has been uh, ready. And uh, uh, to get the funding to print it, I am uh, sort of offering it on a pre publication sale. So uh, I would just pass it around with uh, documentation, photo documentation of the occupations and oral histories uh, recorded of the people. So I'll just pass it around. Can you just introduce it in two minutes so that we can uh, go passing it uh, Introduction of the book, uh, I thought that there were a lot of occupations were dying and had to be documented photographically. And this, uh, some five years back, I undertook this task. And today, when I look back, I contact these people for some feedback and I find that they have either expired or they are paralyzed. So this has, I mean, this was the last kind of testament of this. So uh, it is there, all there about uh, their work, their, their struggles. What occupation? Fifty occupation, right from uh, extracting oil by a uh, ox-driven bullock, uh, then Grano. weaving of the kashti, Grano. 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 Uh, kashti, then uh, weaving of the kashti, then uh, Tariya Mama, then Mada Chengad, Ushe Chengad. Uh, the making of the rope from a local choir, then uh, uh, bhangars, uh, uh, dobis, tailor, uh, etc. 50 occupations are there. I have got another 50 already done, but uh, this book was ready in 12 when I have been struggling to uh, 
uh, get funds. I need approximately uh, quite a bit to print this to this uh, cupboard okay. table. <coughs> 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 no, I just, just pa pass it around. No, we pass it around. This is only photograph or text. This is text. Uh, this is oral history recorded as well as uh, photogra uh, photograph. Yeah, this particular uh, bada, bada is bada paralyzed. Bada. Bada. Yeah, as soon as it was ready, I gave it to Mr. Parikar. He kept it for nine months and sent it back, saying that you first publish it and then we'll buy a hundred copies. Oh, big I, I had offered that. Pro, department? No, I directly approached the CM. No, no. Yes, no, I just didn't met the CM and I said, this is a book, can you... Parikar. This was the this is the Tailand oil. Yeah, he went to the information department and he asked a lot of questions, ah. but uh, he didn't work out. I okay. had done. No, I had done uh, when I was director at least two three, four books. I yeah, I know. I know. I have. Yeah, yeah. Location. He had come to me, but I could not do that. No, that was another book. Yeah, yeah. That was the previous book. That book has sold out. I did two thousand copies. Good, yeah, very good. Which one? Which one? That was uh, Goa, I remembered. Goa, Goa I remembered. Yeah, this is, this is uh, taking you all over Goa, right from Palia in north to Fermi. That Ghana. is actually government has to publish this. Yeah, but. Uh, At least they should find it. No, I didn't mind them not publishing it, but keeping it for nine months, I mean, I lost precious time. Must have been busy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that is his uh, strategy. Yeah, yeah. Delay, delay, and then yeah. say no. Then I gave it to a corporate, they also kept it for Art and culture, we do this. Art and culture yeah. has mandate only for 25, they give you only 25,000. Uh, the mandate yeah. states that. Yeah. So 25,000 is not, not enough publishers. to even make a trip to Pune where I print and come back. So it should be done through a special uh, color printing is a costly job. So now it is on sale, free publication sale. Anybody oh, interested right. can take it. It's a I must, I must yeah, yeah, I send it. No, I must send no, it. So it's 2,000, now I'm selling it for 1,5. Publication Anybody is interested can I have got a receipt book here. Yeah. Anybody is interested. But yes. yeah, documentation, serious documentation. Gerard de Cunha has told his record on tape, his story on tape where he pawned his wife jewelry for his first book, Houses of Goa, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He was telling us at the publishing meeting, some yeah. 17, 18 lakh. Houses of Goa was by Heta Pandit. Yeah, he published it. Oh, right. Heta's digital book. Even my first book I had to pawn jewelry. To me, some color cut to that number. Color? I have not found anything, but I, but I don't know what I am going to get. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, that I may make, make one request. The release is on uh, 5th at Kalak, at, not at uh, Mandovi. And the uh, chief guest is Dr. Francisco Colasso. If you all can <laughs> enter it in the, in the yeah. newspaper, that be. Because I am not sending a press note or whatever. What they time? Having one foundation. I know. 5.30. Uh, I know. 5.30. The first book I had yeah. approached, uh, the book got again stuck, they didn't reach him. There was someone below him. So that it didn't reach him. Something like that keeps happening and you will get, yeah, artists will get fed up with this kind of stuff. Anyone has any... They have different criteria. Anyone has any copies of any books? Give it to me. He might want to draw books for sale, you can see the announcement. Anyone wants autographed copies, please... Sign, okay. uh, take Urban sign and pay the counter also. Feel free to ask any youngsters want to ask any questions. No questions. Dolce, RC, Patricia. Mr. DeCruz was his hockey uh, batmate and he made it very clear when he came that Urban was the captain. <laughs> and his brother is the author of the book. Uh, Go on in sport. Go on in sport. Very comprehensive book. Within Korea? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now where well, is it? In Goa or? Between Canada and Dubai. I know, I know. Canada, I know. Dubai and Goa. But do you feel free press was the training ground or is press? At one time it was a free press, I think. You but even now, now free press, press is a good paper. But now free press is a training ground. In it's Bombay. A good paper. Herald used to be, I don't know, Gomantak now people are not moving out. Uh, Gomantak. The ah, youngsters Gomantak. are not moving out. Gomantak. Huh? Gomantak time. Is the training. Uh, in our time it was Herald. 
We had calculated in four years some 40 people had left. We had a list of them. I have a list. 40, 40 in four years. Anna, Cheryl, all those, no, Devika? Anna is still around. Anna is around. I met her son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met her son. Yeah. She is married to some guy, doctor from Manipur. Manipur. And her son is a filmmaker. Bearded guy in his 20s, late 20s. And the other boys are second family. Personally, that's what you go to him personally or stop there. No. And he's going to go to waiting for I'll go, I'll go. I found a way. No, this here in Manipur. And I met a husband. He said, I know someone from here. Autograph. Any questions, please? We still have time. See, the deaf people, they don't talk a lot unless we provoke them. This is your copy? No, no. You can't stop them from talking. So you, you didn't make an effort to come back to Goa and base yourself here apart from the Herald? No, because I, I was always in Bombay. Goa was only a holiday place, May holidays and all that. But you were thinking of coming uh, back to Goa and settle, no? From no, I was thinking of coming uh, when I freelance, yeah. to come back and spend more time in Goa to write about the political things, you know, because it's in a bad way, it still is. But I don't think I managed to that make any progress. That will continue. <laughs> you feel more of attachment to Bombay or to Goa? Once, once we accumulate with the Bombay, uh, yeah, 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 you know, know this is, to come back. this is a bit insular, yeah, yeah, insular. If you've been in Bombay all the time. But Sunil, there is this trend of youngsters also coming back. No? You're nice to see your picture in Goa today. I thought you were a young person. That time I was young. Even now, photography is very young. He started 25 years back, he started in 1990. When I saw you, I was... No, no, I started 50 years, man. Next year will be 50 years in journalism. You know, in Goa today, at least 1990 you started, no? 1991? Devika and Manoa When you left Express, no? No, I was still in Express. She was still in Express. I was in Express in 1998. If you had to do things differently, what would it have been? If I had to? If you had to do things differently. No, I would still be a journalist. Until you finish. Yeah, finish. Should be a yeah, yeah, but my father was not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what about your son? <laughs> Any regrets for being son in Son, I don't know, yes. Any regrets? I look for him. <laughs> Any regrets? No, no, no. Uh, would would your, your biography not be more tastier if it was more controversial, like say, we know Meta? Where he makes these shocking declarations that he has a illegitimate kid in Switzerland and all these kind of things. Yeah, he did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I and don't know, but uh, uh, why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's very readable yeah. and it's just so, so short too, you know. All yeah. well the desk people are looking at the point sizes first. Mm -hmm. He started life in a desk, on the desk. Who? Meaning? Sunil. Sunil Naik. Sunil Suryakant Naik, to be precise. Mm -hmm. I think it because you are be on the Satsun Dhaf also, because I have indicated the you were all there, those, uh, all those yeah. wiggling bottoms and all those oh, yeah. folk. Yeah. <laughs> so then they shifted to Nariman Point Nariman in which year? Which year was it? This uh, 70. Power? 70. 70. So everyone makes a big thing about media corruption and all. Handing over goodies like prime real estate is also yes, some I've form been of media there from the beginning, no? yeah. No, 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 I'm saying Nariman Point where, where Free Press also got. Express mm -hmm. got uh, it is some form of favor, no? Yeah, but at the end they they were not even publish uh, printing there now. They are printing in Lalbagh or something. In the former or New Bombay. Or 
you had a conversation with Mother Teresa. What yeah. do you think of Bhagat? Uh, I don't know, but Mother Teresa to that time, I mean, she's quite diplomatic. Huh? <laughs> because when I asked her what about the religion bill at that time, and she didn't make a, didn't take a stand. She said between God and man. So I didn't think that was good. If she was so so devout, so bloody strong a Catholic, she should have uh, taken a stand. How many years back was it? This was eighties. Of course, the fact is that Mother Teresa benefited from this huge kind of uh, adulation, media, media adulation hype, hype, that she hype, got from hype. one or two uh, journalists in particular. That, that story has been told. That, that's yeah, a different yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. No, no, but I'm telling you this is in such where I was concerned. No, having said that, I don't think people's motives need to be mixed up with their work. For instance, the missionaries who wrote those great dictionaries and all that. I mean, their intention was very clearly not to help the language, but to spread something they believed in. But having said that, uh, the kind of impact that they've left cannot be denied. No, no, no. No one is the, denying these two that. two realities are, are totally No, but uh, on a one-to-one -one basis, I was very, uh, very disappointed by her reply. They have to survive, I, I guess. They, they, they also, it's an empire, no, in a certain sense. I don't mean, but she wasn't political. She, she, no, she, could have, she, couldn't, she could have made a statement. Not decorum, Baba. It's also a question of Is protecting none? your empire, no? If you have an empire, you have to protect it. Not even to only on. The photos are very interesting, huh? That Erwin uh, is all over right, the place with all kinds of guys. Erwin, uh, just Masya Sansare, uh, whom you are with. You Peter Ustinov. Ah, of course, Peter Ustinov, and uh, then he goes down to uh, who's this? Some Hollywood actress, whom I don't know. Salman Rushdie looks like a young boy here. Okay, what age? Forty. Eighties, I think. Uh, I Erwin it playing it. cricket at the which Maidan? Pasi Jimkana. Some Polish unpronounceable filmmaker. Danusi, I think. Okay. Oh, what year did you call her? Eighties. Eighties, I think. Eighty. So I beat you. I was going to say it. Yeah. And if you go to my website on diplomatictimes.com, mm -hmm. you find an interesting story about the Yeah. So, so who were the guys, the first journalist who, who kind of uh, gave her that huge boost? There is some story about the first journalist. I think someone from the Guardian, Guardian. was the very first one to publish yeah. yeah. But I was doing a statement local I see. Statement was a very powerful paper in those days. Yeah. Of course, the other journalist who wrote his uh, biography was. Uh, Desmond Dawes. No, I'm not seeing Desmond Dawes, but uh, <coughs> senior statesman Jack Sureya. Jack. Uh, Jack is a fully I see. He, he, he had uh, held a release in Goa, one of the releases in Goa. <coughs> and when they came out with JS, it was really a cult uh, magazine for people of our generation. Yes, yes, Alice yes, yes. JS, junior statesman. Yes. It was a fantastic magazine. I was one of the founding editors. Of JS? Of JS? Yes. Yes. Ah, the menon that he mentioned with you. <coughs> <coughs> Together with uh, Diren Bhagat, who, yes. who died, who passed away. Really? No, 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 sorry, sorry. Diren yeah. Bhagat is still there. No, no, I don't think that. Diren Bhagat is still there. He's still around. No, misinformation. Uh, Alice McLean is alive. No? Yeah, I guess so. Who was that young Bhagat who died in Sri Lanka? I was very fond of his no, books. Yeah. Yeah. Because the young Sri died in his studies, no? Very Some good accident there. or something. Yeah, very good there. I ah, what? Is that earlier, she <coughs> people <coughs> buy the newspapers for the editorial. Now what is the condition? In the express? No, no, not, uh, not particularly express. express, but overall. Uh, they are good papers and they are... But still, the, that uh, uh, trade is still there? No, because at the outer, now in my time, Goenka uh, uh, never interfered. No, no, no. People, no, it depends. Because that time, uh, when Frank Murray wrote the main article on Monday, even Times readers would buy Express. Buy it for food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah they buy for, now they buy but there is a big trend towards sensationalization of the news. 
every day it's your daily standard because it's your daily standard like the news the tv channel seem to be praying for this they need something sensational so they create sensation next day there is nothing every day breaking news every channel sandwich they need it As far as media training is concerned, do you think we are doing enough in a place like Goa? I've not seen personally the newspapers in See, Goa. See, because uh, till up until ten years back, there was no media training in Goa. All of us just were joined as fresh graduates on the job, which is okay. It's another form of training. No, but Now when I when I was uh, uh, once or twice, I did. Uh, Uh, but it's not enough. It's not enough. You see states like Bengal, no, where it is they are pushing out a large number of uh, journalists in English media. Oh, exactly, exactly. Where I was going to ask you, where are the jobs? There are so many. At least I think thirty to fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. The jobs should be there. Yes, there are no openings. Oh, there are no openings. Oh. No, I'm not sure. Sure, that I'm not sure. Sure, I agree I because agree there no, there no, at a higher level, not in Goa. Entry, 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 entry level, they are, they want youngsters. They want youngsters. Senior level, they may not. Senior be level, they may be picky and choosing. Yeah, entry level, every paper. Entry level, every paper. Every paper, every paper. Every paper, every paper, every paper. But also, entry. there is need for new media, media openings to open up. Like for example, in the 80s, Herald was the only one that came about in 83. After that was. Government at times in eighty seven. Since then, what has happened? An English team, very little. Government at times eighty eight. Yeah, correct. Then, okay, then the Goan came a few years back. But times after that times. After that times. 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 After that times. Lokmohan. No, in English, yeah. Lokmohan has brought from uh, Maharashtra. Most of them are from Maharashtra. Now, trained in Marathi people, they bring it from the uh, Maharashtra. At the higher level, they find they it tough to get. Even. Uh, uh, At the high level, at the high level, that, that, and at the senior Marathi. level. Because that, that too, that Marathi is not our mother tongue. No, you are making. Because <laughs> <it's laughs> <different people now. laughs> we don't have yeah, yeah. good Marathi writers. No, then English is also not our language because he was asking you, no, why are you not taking? Yeah, no, English that is only editor. No, no, there are many factors. There, there. Yes, the no, uh, no, I have worked in the Marathi before. I mean, they are not senior, but at the beginning, they were all from Maharashtra. You know what uh, we discussed this when you know why not to celebrate uh, that the Bharat Sarkar has done this as a journalist. They are celebrating August one. Still, good contribution in Goa was very less. You know, uh, Harsh Vardhan Bhatle was telling me he says I can get an uh, editor for my Marathi magazine for Maharashtra. Same the same amount. He worked very hard. At the at the English level, I cannot get anyone. This now this is his perspective. There are many market factors yeah, at play. Yeah, I don't know what are what is the uh, you know. This is his point. Anyway, any last question, especially by those who have not asked, Alex, Glenn, this is my question. Just to introduce a few people. Mr. Ramdas Kerkar used to be a journalist. Devi can remember him in the 80s. He is now turned a principal of uh, higher secondary and still very much in the literary world. Books and he publishes and authors books on careers and all that. Ramdas. Uh, Ramesh Veluskar Bab is a prominent poet <coughs> and writer, Sahitya Academy Award winner, correct? And uh, Neeraj runs his own SMS service. Pantane of Award heard. Eric Pinto is is a uh, engineer and social activist and many things. Minin has been the, the former master. director of information till recently, and Sushila has just published her book, which we are going to plan a session next coming up shortly. Her book is a, a biography. Is that right? But she's a historian and she. Is very active. Sir, requiring good work here. Yes. No, I just get the people together and that's all. No, Devika, everyone knows, <coughs> has been uh, mentoring many journalists, including all of us. Good girl. She's yeah. a college student. And uh, Sunil Suryakan Naik, his son, uh, in the name, in the memory of his son, there was a photography he, competition. He died, no? Yeah. 
He was a photographer, I know. So Sunil in free press. He is the he is news editor. In free press. He, uh, his elder son. His youngest son passed away. So they have the Sushant Naik forever. They have a photography competition every year, which is going on which is going on for how many years now? And the competition is going on since? From uh, uh, eight. So then Alice is my classmate and she teaches at St. Xavier's College. XIC? No, St. Xavier's College, Goa. We are the poor Saint cousins Mary's. of y'all guys. St. Mary's? Goa, St. Xavier's. St. Xavier's, Mapsa, Mapsa. Up on the hill. On the hill. She's the English literature person. And uh, Mr. Dick Cruz, what's your first name? Sorry? Ah, Ah, Kinjil. I'd like to just make a comment that as a teacher of English, in my class of 60, I find it difficult for two students to have read the letter paper. Even two students. It's because it is not part of the reading other things. But, at, uh, but are they are they reading literature at least? No. Literature, not reading good no, no. books and all so that. So should be we should be we worried about these things. There is a prediction that in two hundred years time. Should you be worried? Are you giving the students what they want? You're giving young people what they want and they don't find what they want in newspapers? In two hundred years time literacy will be a dead skill, that's what they say. We won't need to read and write. Okay, you are asking a very valid question of whether we reflect the artificial intelligence. No. Maybe audio, maybe maybe other forms of getting. No, I'd be worried that they read other things rather than the no, papers which are terrible yeah, in, yeah. in terms of English, etc. Okay, there might yeah. be some bit of reading, but I would say that uh, yes, I've, I've, I've seen that happening. I, I, you won't believe me. I've trained so many people, and uh, the heaven, unfortunately, has been the only reading medium for born Catholics. And their education. I stuck to that level because of that. And the same mistakes created by the sub at the heaven are repeated through the young generation. There are words I see coming back to me from my staff that uh, have been repeated over generations by the heaven, by the heaven staff. So, you know, that same level which exists there is it sort of duplicates. That's the bad part about it, that young people are not reading books. Yeah, but the newspapers are... Newspapers are you can of language or is it on information? Newspapers are... I think, language, they're saying information. Uh, yeah, they can be informed up to a point, but I would suggest that if you really want to be informed... recommend the local papers, definitely not. No, no, I just want to make two or three points. What you were asking is, do we cater to the young? Okay, the fact is, all our papers are run by grey-haired people like me. Or we contribute to it or whatever. We need more youth input. I agree with you fully. Whether we should worry about the reading habits, I'm not so sure. Because even in our time, the people who read, the voracious readers were limited. Today, it may be limited a bit more, but, you know, outside my house, there are guys who come and insist on using the Wi-Fi network there. Three, every day, three to five or seven <coughs> boys will be sitting and using it. And they won't stop till eight o'clock in the night. What is, what is it telling you? That they, their information they, they needs. They they're they playing games. We, we started reading the newspaper from the sports page as young school boys. Okay. Then emergency came, Himmat, you know, I was shocked to find that people like Kalpana Sharma, who are journalists still today, were, were journalists, then young journalists, in Himmat and those, you know, Rajmohan Gandhi's magazine. I still have many copies of Himmat. So, so I'm saying that, okay, we need to push reading as a habit. But how will it happen? Why will it happen? I don't believe that newspapers are the thing for young people to, s to create a reading habit. I didn't read a newspaper no, no, when I, mean I was, when I was in college. I'm just saying that this is the talk is about newspapers. Yes. And, so and I don't... newspapers be something that the young should be reading? No, I don't, I don't believe that newspapers should bother to cater to the young. Frankly, I don't. 
No, no, no. I'm, I'm telling you. How can you because say Because the only thing they, no, they provide... No, that You can't go against... No, no, no. How can you say such thing? No, I'm, I'm totally telling shocked. you frankly that it is not necessary that newspapers cater to the young because they seem to think that all they are interested in is trot and foam, which they provide by, by giving you those page three pullouts and it is rubbish, total rubbish. Now, they are not interested in the news and I don't see anything wrong in that. I was not interested in the news at that age. And yet, the minute I finished college, the minute I got myself a postgraduate degree, I, I went and joined a newspaper because that's the profession I was interested in. And that's when I just got totally involved with news. So if somebody is really interested in the news and becoming a journalist, they'll go and get themselves a degree, they'll go and get into a newspaper. Take her to your college to speak to the young people, please. My question was beyond Yashi, this has become a very contentious issue. Uh, it is to make students aware. Aarti, Aarti wants to say something be before, yes, before so she pulls her. Let her say, let her say, let her say. Let her say. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Facebook, WhatsApp, yeah, SMS. Yeah, exactly. Young yeah. people don't read email. Yeah, forget about reading newspapers. My, my kids don't have access to email. They're not bothered. Yeah. They communicate to WhatsApp and Facebook. I don't know, even, even nowadays, you can ask of your young people to write some pen lines. They won't be able to. You are writing with pen. <laughs> what, 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 what? 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 At least, at least, at least I am English newspapers only. <laughs> if, if the English newspaper is smart, Ramna, if they were smart, they will start doing it. Thank you for raising a very contentious issue. But, but at the end of the day, I think reading is a skill that gives us, equips us in some way. I don't know whether it should be for everyone, whether it should be for some people, but a lot of IS students who pass your IS, IFS exam, who they credit, they say, to the newspaper, to the magazine, you know, so in that sense, it's helping them grapple with their world. There are so well, different well, worlds, there are so many different worlds and so many different um, ways to so definitely I So as a teacher, I can understand Alice, because I am also in the same area. The people, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I'd be glad if they, if your students uh, read the literature as well, good literature. That's the main. No, but we have different levels of uh, no, no, but the uh, class that I'm talking about is a class that will not really go into studying literature, essentially. So they are a class that is for compulsory English. They are oh, for functional English. Go, uh, so at that stage, at oh. least, I felt maybe the newspaper should be something that they just open and look at. Well, that's the whole problem. The whole education system is is so so warped no, in, in this country. Because in my class are really not the Facebook ones. They're not. They're the <coughs> same students. They, they they don't have this kind of easy access. Okay. They may have eventually, but not now. Really. No, but as a as a teacher, you know, you do get concerned that uh, this generation is not reading whatever, whether newspaper or literature or whatever, is not reading. So I I do. I uh, teach in a rural college where I teach history, not English. And I just make a general statement once in a way that, uh, you know, uh, if you don't read a newspaper, it is as bad as not brushing your teeth. So, uh, and then I say that uh, if you, uh, don't, you don't need to be good in English to pass in history. So, they, they, they get motivated with little, little things and, and then, you know, once in a way when we discuss things, you relate it to your subject, what happened in the newspapers, you relate it to your subject. They are forced to come out with what they have read. And in a class of 60 or 70, somebody responds. See, my, my initial uh, concern is, is a newspaper meant to just give information? Or is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform people about what's going on in the world? Is it meant to inform do you think kids are reading enough? Or are you concerned? No, those who read do read. There are, the, there are those who read. It's not that big. But, but even our times were same. Our times were same. There were a few. There were a few who read. Another newspaper is on read. The well, how do they expect to make a successful bilingual, bilingual newspaper? It's going to be Marathi double and cost, English. Double cost. Double cost. I can't believe it. Marathi and English. Okay, no, bilingual, but a bilingual Muslim. Would someone else also say yeah, bilingual? Someone also, someone said also bilingual. Bilingual only Rashtra Marathi Kokni. Marathi Kokni is so. Marathi Kokni is so. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. But don't forget, even in our time, those who are reading were a small handful. It was a small place. That's the law of life. I mean, those who are taking active part in this country. Today they will all be professors here. Alex, Alex, so. You see, how many years I know all of them? Oh, well, I'll see you day after. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we can thank you very much. You are worried about uh, students reading. I am worried something about the teachers. Good thing. <laughs> but we are not giving them things that <coughs> <are scary. coughs> are interesting. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.